Due to an acute shortage of manpower, the Kremlin is sending so-called refuseniks, soldiers who refuse to participate in the war, into battle in the Kursk region. At least 500 people were forcibly taken to the Kursk region from near St. Petersburg. This was reported by the well-known Russian resource Astra, citing relatives of the soldiers. A large number of refuseniks were held at the base of the 138th Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces in the village of Kamenka near St. Petersburg. On the evening of August the 12th, more than half a thousand soldiers from there were forcibly put on a plane and taken to the Kursk region. They have already been given machine guns and are being prepared to throw them into battle. Relatives claim that this group included refuseniks, with severe physical and mental illnesses. They took a man with category D plus a man of about 70 years old who can barely walk and also a man without an eye, the relative said. Only when approaching Kursk Oblast did the refuseniks learn where they were being taken. Relatives fear that their loved ones will be thrown to the front lines as cannon fodder. It should be noted that according to Ukrainian military blogger Nikolaevsky Vanek, the main force of 1,000 soldiers, has already been transferred to Kursk Oblast to repel the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive. Half of them are experienced soldiers, the rest are conscripts, conscientious objectors and local militia. Recall a week into Ukraine's surprise cross-border incursion into Russia, it's becoming increasingly clear that Moscow does not have the situation under control. Tens of thousands of Russians have been forced to flee their homes as Ukrainian troops continued to encroach onto Russian territory over the weekend and on Monday. The incursion, the first time foreign troops entered Russian territory since World War II, is a major embarrassment for the Kremlin. Russian President Vladimir Putin vowed to kick the enemy out of Russia, but his troops are yet to stop the Ukrainian advance. Analysts are not expecting Ukraine to attempt to advance much further into Russian territory. The success of the incursion was largely down to the surprise factor, with Moscow's scrambling resources to try to defend its borders. Once Russian reinforcements are in place, it is unlikely Ukraine would be able to hold onto the territory it managed to seize. The Russian military have faced a shortage of drinking water on the front line in Ukraine, says an intelligence summary of the UK Ministry of Defence. This situation developed due to damage to utility infrastructure caused by Russian bombing and rocket attacks. The problem is also exacerbated by hot weather. A pro-Russian military blogger reported that water rations for pilots have been limited to one litre a day, which corresponds to a quarter of the minimum requirement recommended when operating in high temperatures. As a result, pilots have to turn to local residents for water. Also, according to British intelligence, some Russian military units are forced to make improvised filtration facilities using stale puddles to meet their daily water needs, risking a rise in the incidence of disease among soldiers. Lack of water, which leads to dehydration and increased risk of infections, almost certainly affects the morale and operational effectiveness of the Russian army, the agency emphasized. As a result, Russian pilots have turned to locals for water. A pro-Russian military blogger appealed to Russian water supply companies to provide additional water to Russian military bases in Rostov, Voronezh and Crimea. 
Previously, British intelligence reported that the lack of regular troop rotations was one of the most significant factors contributing to low morale and the inability of the Russian army to conduct high-level training after the invasion. The lack of such training further hampers Russia's ability to carry out successful complex offensive operations, according to the UK Ministry of Defense. This comes after Ukrainian forces launched a surprise attack into Russia's Kursk region last week, a potentially crucial moment in the conflict. Kiev's soldiers took control of a number of villages, but Vladimir Putin has vowed to kick them out. He said the defense ministry's main task is to push, to kick the enemy out of our territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia brought war to others, now it's coming home. Ukraine has always wanted only peace, and we will certainly ensure peace.